Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's going to be my long-awaited nail polish collection. You guys have been asking me for this for a long, long time. So for all my nail polish lovers, thank you for your patience and I am here to deliver. So um, for today's video, like I said, I'm going to share with you guys all my nail polishes. And um, I don't have a lot of nail polishes. Like I don't have it in a nice display. They're basically in literally in this basket in a drawer in my vanity. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these by color um, and then I'm gonna give you guys a look to see the product that I have. This is not gonna be much different than my inventory from last, is it last two years? God, I don't even remember when was the last time that I did an inventory, but um, I will share with you guys. And I think I'm gonna do kind of like a declutter, maybe. If I see nail polishes that I don't really care for anymore, um, especially like glitter toppers, I think I'm just gonna get rid of them and it will be like an inventory slash declutter. We'll see where this takes us, I have no idea. All I know is that I have a total of 55 nail polishes, if I counted correctly. I'm not gonna show you the, the nail polishes that I have in my Project Polish because you guys have seen those. So it'll be kind of repetitive. These are just the ones that are not in the project. So uh, without any further ado, let's just get started. Starting off with some nail like basics. I have this Formula X Prime Gel. This is a base coat. Uh, this is the only base coat that I have. I don't have any other top coats that I'm using or base coats that I'm using as a backup. Just this one, I am using one from Essie for um, base coat and the Seche Vide is my top coat. Uh, but I don't have any backups, just this one from the Sephora Formula X. And then I have these two like nail sticker nail strips uh, my mom actually gave me these she bought them um she likes to use nail wraps on her nails not wraps but you know what i mean these things um she didn't like this particular brand she found them very difficult to work with especially to like stick to her nail so uh she went back to using other brands i believe she bought these either at Ross or marshall's uh and she didn't find it worth the time to go back to the store and just like return them or exchange them so she gave them to me i haven't tried them i've never tried this brand before um but hopefully i can get to these soonish for whites or clear-ish and neutral looking nails i have two this one from pure ice this is in the color satin ribbon and this is from sally hansen hard as nail this is just a hard to get color number 110 it's just a white i used to do um what do you call it like french manicure tips a lot but i haven't done them in a while my nails tend to be kept pretty short these days because of work so i haven't really been able to use these uh, but they're nice to use um, when i do try to do a french manicure i only have one yellow nail polish this is from the kl polish this used to be the kathleen lights uh, brand before she created the new brand this is in the color Gemini and I only bought her nail polishes when she was closing down this particular line and I got them for super super discounted I think they were great uh, but yellow that's the only one the next color I'm trying to go kind of like a gradient so from brown I kind of was gonna from yellow I'm gonna go into kind of a brownish shade now these are the the most brown like <laughs> shades that I have. So just bear with me, okay? I have one from Kale Polish again. This is in the color Taurus 2. Then two from Sephora Formula X. Uh, this formula was great. I don't know why they discontinued it. I love these nail polishes. I've used several of them. This one is in the color Iconic. It's kind of a metallic brown copper shade. And this is more, more like metallic silver. Um, this is in the color Torque. Um, like I said, I've used several of the Sephora Formula X uh, nail polishes and they're great. Um, I can't believe they discontinued. I can't say great things. Moving on to shades that are more in the peachy slash orangey uh, category. I have seven. Starting here from Finger Paints. This, I got this for free at a Sally Hansen. They had a thing going on you just showed a coupon and they gave you a free um, nail polish no purchase necessary now this is obviously kind of set or separated <laughs> uh, I need to shake it very well but this is in the color um, I don't think it says um, fl oh no it's not <laughs> it's not flammable that's it's just a warning um, I don't know exactly the color but this is a kind of a peachy shade 
Then this little mini from Sephora Formula X. This is in the color Alive. Also has been separated, but once you mix it, it works fine. This one from Jane Soon in the color T Rose 118. The thing, I've used one nail polish from Jane Soon before, and they're very thin. It's a very thin formula. You need several coats, otherwise it just looks streaky. Then this one from Donna Michelle. This is a, oh, the sticker fell off on this one. Um, I don't know the name of this one, but this is from the dollar store more likely. Then from Deborah Lipman, I have a little deluxe size in the color, girls just wanna have fun. Uh, very pretty color. These shades tend to be more orangey than peachy. Then two from Kaya Polish. This one is in the color Aries. It's a matte bright orange. And then this one is a glittery shade. More, um, it has kind of like a dual chrome shift. Uh, yellow and orange are the main colors. And this is in the color Leo. So that's that. For the green category, I have six, mostly green. Then I have this kind of dark, like foresty green. These are more bright than this one, but still green. Um, starting over here, I have this one from China Glaze. This is in the color um, Keep Calm Paint On. I think I bought this at Marshalls, if I'm not mistaken. Then from Sinful Colors, I have this matte green shade in the color Rise and Shine. Then another one from Kale Polish. This is a metallic greenish blue shade in the color Pisces. Then from OPI, um, this is very, very separated. If you look at it this, color, this way, it looks blue, but then when you look at it over here, it's green. So this needs to be shaken up quite well, but this is in the color Amazon, Amazoff. <laughs> um, very, very nice color. And then another one from Kale Polish in the color Capricorn. This is more metallic. Also with a dual sh with a dual chrome shift, um, kind of bronzy, um, reddish, with a kind of a green undertone to it as well. And then this uh, foresty green from the Sephora Formula X. This is still shrink wrapped. I've never used it, uh, but this is in the color massive. So next for the blue shades, I have seven, and they're all pretty dark, like navy blues, except for this one. <laughs> this one's from Sinful Colors. This is a like a baby blue, but it does have some glitter to it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera, but it does have a little bit of a glitter. This is in the color Cinderella. This was a gift with like a party favor for a baby shower that I went to. Guess the sex of the baby. <laughs> then another one from Simple Colors. This is in the color um, Endless Blue. I love this. It's probably my favorite blue out of all of them. Um, very similar to this one from OPI in the color... Um, uh, keeping Zuzi at bay, but this one is a little bit more dark than this one, a little bit more opaque, like once you put it on the nails, uh, this one, it just pops a lot more than this one. Then this one from Jin Soon again, uh, like I said, very streaky, color is blue iris, not a fan of it, uh, but I'll have it there. And then this one from NYC in the color Skin Tight Denim Cream. NYC, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've bought nail polish, especially at the drugstore. So I don't know if NYC is still a thing, but I used to love the, the nail polishes from NYC Color. Oh no, the whole brand was discontinued, hello. Uh, I was thinking about the makeup brand only, but maybe the whole, even the nail thing got discontinued. But I thought the formula was great. Um, I loved it. I've used this before and I love it. Uh, I think it's great. Then this one from Butter London, I've never used it before. This is in the color Inky 6. Uh, it's a glittery blue shade. It looks very pretty. I'm excited to one day try it. And then from Kale Polish, this is in the color Aquarius 2. Another glittery polish, but this is more of a, like a dark navy blue where this one's a little bit more brighter. So those are the blue ones. For my purpley maroon shades, I have six also. It seems like I have six in every category. This one is from Kale Polish. This is in the color Sagittarius. It's a matte uh, purple shade. Then from Nails Ink, the gel effect, another one that needs to be shaken up a little bit. This is in the color New Oxford Street. I've used this a few times and I like it. It works okay. This one from the Sephora Formula X. It's a glittery purpley shade. I hope you guys can see that. There's a little shift to it. This is in the color Legend. I don't remember if I've used this before, to be honest. Then another one from NYC Color in the color Plumberry Plaza. This is 
probably like my fourth bottle of this color. I have used many of these before. This was probably my favorite color in the line. Not sure, like I said right now, if it's still available, but this is honestly like my fourth or fifth bottle. I, I really love that shade. Then from Deborah Lipman, uh, this is also kind of a glittery shade. And this is in the color Good Girl Gone Bad. And last but not least from OPI, this is in the color Get Cherried Away. Um, also needs to be shaken up. <laughs> you can see the separation there in the color, but uh, those are those. For my reds, I also have six. This one is from the Sephora Formula X. This is in the color uh, X by, no, X by Rouge. I got this as a gift for being Rouge, but it looks like the color uh, Pyrotechnic from the Formula X, which I've used a couple of those bottles before as well. Very, very pretty, very bright uh, red, very classic red. You guys know I love my red lipsticks and my red nails. <laughs> this is from the from Victoria's Secret. My goodness, this has got to be like 15 years old. This is super old. This is in the color Lustworthy. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say other than it's probably about 15 years old. <laughs> then this one from OPI in the color Malaga Wine. I don't know if I've used that one before. Then this one... Um, from Sephora Formula X. This is in the color Fahrenheit. I have used a deluxe size mini of this before, maybe even two. Um, I went crazy when Sephora Formula X had little itty bitty uh, kits that came with minis. Uh, you guys have seen some of my minis in my project pants and stuff, but um, yeah, I've used that color before, that's for sure. This one from Flower Beauty, I don't remember where this came from. This is a very dark burgundy shade in the color Berry Begonia. Uh, this is shrink wrapped. Like I said, I don't remember where this came from, how I got got it, but it's a very dark, dark, um, like, um, oh my gosh, burgundy color. And then from Kale Polish, another kind of red, uh, but has a little bit of orange uh, dual chrome type shift to it, and it's in the color Scorpion. So there you have it. For my pinky shades, I have six again. This is from KL Polish in the color Libra. This is more of a creamy pink. Then from the Sephora Formula X, I have this one in At Your Own Risk. If you guys couldn't tell, I loved Sephora Formula X nail polishes. I stocked up when they were discontinued. Then from Butter London, this is a mini one uh, in the color Song. This came in sort of goodie bag, I think. I don't, this is a mini one, so I don't think I ever purchased that one. Then this one, I remember getting this from for a birthday gift in a little kit. This is from Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and it's in the color Flashy Fuchsia. It's a very pretty pink, I'm not gonna lie. Then this one from Sephora Formula X in the color Eureka. Very pretty bright pink as well. And then from Orly, this is the nail polish color in the color Beach Cruiser. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of stay away from this shade because it's very neon pink and it intimidates me. I feel like I, I draw too much attention and it <laughs> makes me uncomfortable. If I wear it, I'll wear it on my toes, but not so much on my hands. I'm, I'm kind of scared of that color. Then I have for the black slash gray category, I only have two and they're both gray colors. The first one, well, they should kind of be like this. <laughs> the first one is, they're both from KO Colors. The first one is the color Cancer and it's a just your standard gray color and then uh, the other one is in the color uh, virgo and it's a dark gray like a darker gray not not black but not even charcoal i would think a little bit lighter than charcoal maybe just a dark gray uh, i haven't used either one of these before i don't know how they look on my skin but i know formula wise i like them because i have um, used other formulas from the kale polish line and then last but not least i have these two nail toppers one is from Deborah Lipman, the other one is from Sephora Formula X. And I said that I was gonna declutter at some point in this video. <laughs> and these are the only two that I'm gonna declutter. I'm kind of over glitter toppers. I don't really care for like an accent nail or just glitter on my nails um, anymore. I guess I've outgrown that phase. And throughout the years, I've kind of gotten rid of other nail, top nail polish, no, glitter toppers, but this is the last two that I have. And I think I'm just gonna let them go. Um, they're very hard to take off, glitter is uh, in, in general, but these are like really chunky. This is from Deborah Lipman, and it's in the color Cleopatra in New York. And this one is from Sephora Formula X in the color uh, Bubonic. 
no bionic <laughs> so yeah i'm over the glitter topper thing i'm just gonna let those go and that will bring me down to 53 if my math serves me right so that's all i have for now i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update on my project polish i hope that I can get the ones that I'm working on out of my collection soon. That way I can pick some more and start playing with some more. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.